Hey guys, Clorox disinfecting wipes that kill 99.99% .99 of bacteria here. Today I'll be showing you the crime spree stealth loud build I like to take all the time. So I've actually got two variants to this build. Uh, one of them has Inspire, the other one takes Jokers instead. So I'll be showing you both, probably side by side. To start off, this is the Inspire one. I take Crook on both of these with a lightweight ballistic vest. For the most part, until you get to like Crime Spree 1100 or so, you take uh, about three shots to your armor before it breaks instead of the, the usual one or two for Rogue. So that's why I like to take Crook, even though I get about 10% less dodge. Uh, showing weapons real quick, the only thing you want to take on Crime Spree is above like 700, or probably like the Heavy Crossbow and the, uh, the Commando Rocket Launcher, because they're the only things that do enough damage to actually kill things. The Heavy Crossbow is the only thing, besides maybe the Thanatos, well besides the Thanatos, that can actually one-shot anything in the head. So I would recommend the Crossbow because you can get your bolts back, Thanatos you'll run out of ammo, unless you've got somebody taking at least two ammo bags. And then the Commando, because the only way to clear huge waves out is to deal 5,000 damage to their feet several times before they actually die. Uh, as usual, you want to take EBK or Buzzer for melee. Concussions are a good throwable, but you use whatever you want to use. And then for the equipment, since I'll be taking Jack of All Trades, as you'll see in a minute, I've got ECM jammers for the utility and a doctor bag just to, you know, protect myself. Alright, moving on to the skills here. For this one, I said I took Inspire, so I've got the, uh, the usual Combat Medic, Painkiller Ace, Combat Doctor, Inspire. An alternative to this would be to take Quick Fix as opposed to Painkillers, because that'll give you the uh, faster deploy time as well as the 15% less damage on your teammates. So you can do it like that as well. I'm gonna keep it how I prefer it, though. Uh, I didn't take anything in Enforcer. Technician is really important because this is a utility build that you're going to be taking in loud. So I made sure to take Jack of All Trades so I could take my ECMs and my Doctor Bag. I've got all maxed out drill skills which helps a lot in Crime Spree when you're trying to get things done as fast as possible. Because you will just grind through Doctor Bags if you're sitting there doing nothing. So waiting for a drill is like the last thing you want to do. Kickstarter helps a lot with that because of the melee attack for fixing the drill. Steady Grip because I just had one point left over. That's, that's usually what Steady Grip is. The bastard child of the point system. Now for the Ghost Tree, I took a lot of stealth-based skills. So I've got Chameleon Bot just to get into the tree. That doesn't really matter. It's uh, just to get into the tree, actually. Sixth Sense Ace is so I can gain access to all insider assets, as well as highlight people if we are doing something stealth, like maybe like Clubhouse, which is Big Oil Day 1. ECMs can now open doors is like a huge key, like for Big Bank, if you don't have a second key card, or if the second key card is, say, in the safe, you want to take Nimble and ECM Overdrive so you can either open the door with an ECM, or pick the safe really fast and get the key card. And then ECM Specialist is so I have two ECMs, and on top of that it makes the feedback last really, really long. So the feedback is actually really important, which if you don't know what that is, place it on the ground, interact with it, and then it'll start to stun all the cops around it, which is amazing if you're trying to do something. We did a uh, 993 level Birth of Sky, and we had a pallet that was just sitting out in the middle of the road, and if we didn't have ECM feedback, we would have ran out of concussions instantly. There were just so many cops, but uh, ECM feedback saved us. So keep that in mind, that's a good thing to do with it. Duck and Cover Bot, which I probably could ace that if I were to say take off Optical Illusions and Steady Grip. Ace Duck and Cover. You can do that if you want to, that's up to you. But uh, I like optical illusions for the less chance to be targeted, so my teammates suck all the bullets up. But that's totally up to you, parkour ace for the run in any direction plus run and reload. And fugitive, I just took nine lives in Swan Song because nine lives gives you, gives you the extra down, which is really important. Swan Song is nice to have if, you, if you're taking the uh, commando, so in we're on crime spree 1100 right now as I'm making this video. And the commando is really helping us out a lot. So Swan Song, not a necessity, but still really good to take. Okay, now for this other build, it's going to be basically the same thing, except for... Okay, so in this build, the only differences are going to be... Instead of Inspire, you're going to take Maxed Out Jokers and Stockholm Syndrome. Which, uh, that'll contribute a lot because the Jokers are really... They're mostly just bullet sponges at really, really high crime spree. 
they don't deal too much damage to the point where they actually get kills. You're supposed to be getting all the kills with your heavy crossbow or your Thanatos or whatever high damage weapon you're using. The Jokers are mostly just bullet sponges, so you're less likely to be targeted. And then the Stockholm might take in emergencies because when you're at Crime Spree 1000 or whatever, it costs like 600 coins to uh, to get back up. And that's, that's no fun to spend that many coins. So might as well take Stockholm in a worst case scenario type thing. Uh, same thing for Technician. Same thing for Ghost, for the most part. For the other one, I left Optical Illusions on. I couldn't fit it on here because of uh, I need the extra one point, I think, for Stockholm. So you're going to want to take Parkour Aced and kind of make it look like this, I guess. Same same basic thing, though. And then Fugitive again is 9 lives and Swan Swung Aced. Alright, that should just about wrap it up for this one. Um, I'm not going to do a gameplay video after this because... Uh, I'm going to try something different. I'm going to redirect you guys to Beecroft because I play with him on his crime spree, which we're currently on about 1120. So go check him out. I'll have a link in the description to his Twitch and his YouTube. Make sure to go check that out. I'll probably be on there pretty much every day playing this exact build. One of these two exact builds. So if you want to see how to play it, it's pretty simple. All you got to do, hide a lot more than if you were taking Rogue, which it's not the end of the world. You could honestly take Rogue and just take your lightweight off and you'll have 45 dodge as opposed to 30. But that's entirely up to you guys. So however, you, whatever fits your play style, I guess. But that's the Utility Crime Spree build. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, make sure to check out B uh, or me on Twitch. I don't know. It's up to you guys. But uh, I use these builds on both of those places. So be sure to check that out. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you have fun with this build. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.